What's up, guys? It's been a minute, but we are back. It's the Jeremy and Carrie show. Yeah. It's Ask Us, and we got a good one today. We're right in the thick of the holidays. Question coming at us. I went overboard on Thanksgiving. Too much dairy, sugar, drinks, etc. Need to get back on track. Where should I start? Woo! Guys, start by drinking some water. <laughs> it happens, so we want to be empathetic, right? But we also know that doing that, obviously, right? You're in the moment and you're enjoying yourselves. It's time to get back on track. And so really, honestly, the first thing you can do is some of those habits that you know are your wellness habits. Establish those as fast as possible, and drinking water is one of them. So. Um, with drinking water, I also want to add in that you're eliminating those things that you just had in your life. So you're taking out the sugar, you're taking out maybe those higher starch foods and replacing them with vegetables, lean, clean proteins. Again, adding that water back in and then maybe some healthy starchier uh, carbohydrates as well. So. Jeremy, any what would you do? Is that what you did? Did you overgo? Did you overdo it this Thanksgiving? Um, I mean, I don't think I necessarily overdid it, but I definitely focus on. Um, I mean, I ate a lot, you know, and so even after I ate, I was like, oh, I feel full, and I chugged the water, and I was Real like, full. oh, now I feel really full, and then you know, I used the restroom, and I feel less full, so it's wow. much better just to drink water. And, uh, and then start to work on the next day drinking, um, I wake up and start drinking a lot of water and then start focusing on proteins. So I will like essentially like two days, I will eat little to no carbohydrates mm -hmm. in any type of form other than maybe a salad. Yep. Uh, and I'll eat lean protein, uh, focus on that and water, 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 and probably caffeine because I like to offset my low and just keep moving and whatnot. And so um, I like to sweat. So I did yard work and a slow, longer workout, not very high intensity whatsoever. And just continue to do that until I feel like I'm you know, back on track and all that stuff. But I also make sure that I load my fridge up on Sunday with food so I can start making good health choices right out of the gates moving into the week and so on and so forth and then really what i position myself for it's like four weeks until christmas and five weeks till Not new, even. yeah like you know, it was three and a half weeks then yeah, four and a half weeks until um um new year's yeah. so i create a plan of what i'm going to do for the next three and a half to five weeks yeah um, of how I'll feel really great because I like to roll into the new year um, with momentum. And so I do a lot of momentum building, uh, even though I'm knowing like I have a wedding this weekend, I have activities, um, but I'm always anchoring, you know, what and how and all that good stuff. I mean, you said it, I didn't mention it, but like moving your body every day, it doesn't have to be, I mean, we're, we do CrossFit and love to run, but it doesn't have to be that, oh, I gotta go do that CrossFit, because it kind of can seem a little intimidating after you're not feeling great after some of the foods you might've eaten, but man, going for a walk or maybe creating kind of a, a circuit, right, that you move through, and just so it makes you feel good and you sweat a little bit, so that's always good. But, you know, I always say that, are you being proactive or reactive to what you've done but what we do, let's step back. And when are we establishing good, healthy habits? When are we drawing in that wellness plan? That is the opportunity like coming up in January. Are you ready to join us for our six week challenge? Or did you just do a cleanse, you know, three weeks prior to or a fall cleanse that maybe helped you to reestablish your wellness protocols that really help you to set yourself up for success moving into a holiday like Thanksgiving, knowing, yeah, you're probably going to have some pie, maybe you over even even was it good food but really it helps you to go you know what I'm gonna stop right there I'm feeling full tomorrow I'll come back if I want a little bit more so I'm gonna change my diet or quickly like Jeremy and you said and like something I did it's like all right this week it's zero sugar lots of water all the greens and I'm gonna eat some good protein and then move my body daily with intention and then I'm gonna start to feel better because we know the holidays are right there parties are coming and so how are you gonna approach that next time right so today I don't have a party guess what drinking all the water eating all the greens and the good protein and moving my body good tomorrow no party 
just like Jeremy's going to a wedding this weekend, it's like, okay, I know that's going to have another opportunity for me to maybe partake in something that's not just a winning, um, but I'm going to enjoy myself and then jump right back on. So make sure we be proactive in how we're setting ourselves up before these holidays. Yeah, for sure. I think that my choices are based off of how I feel okay. and in the sense of what the sugar or alcohol or the overeating how it sits on me and feels mm -hmm. and so i anchor that in always knowing like what if i eat this sugar but no protein right. like how do i feel and i always remember that as i'm moving through because that really that feeling post that is not as good as the consumption right um so i always anchor that in each and every time so i can continue to build positive habits in the direction that i'm going mm -hmm. uh, but it also is important how we position ourselves with partners or having someone really stand in the gap for us and help us as we pursue our goals and what we want to accomplish especially in this time so i always encourage to look for accountability look for coaching look for an individual that can step in and help support you so you can get to where you want to go and i just know that going it alone being the lone ranger especially for men it's easy to do but it's not easy to get your goals and results that way that you desire so partnering and having a good collaborative group that you're working with is yep. key support team man it's important you know and invite people to you if, that, if you're not being invited because nobody no one's doing it it's just going to be you no invite people to join your plan right even i mean i love it we're obviously together over the holidays and it's like hey let's go work out let's go do something let's go on a hike and so ask people to come along and go with you because then it's more enjoyable and you're getting to spend time with family and friends etc so super important what else, Jeremy? Anything else, guys? No, I just think that, hey, it's a clean slate. Start a new day. Start a new mindset. Start a new plan. Drink water. Get moving. And, and just keep rolling that momentum into what you're doing next. And then it, what are your plans? What are your goals coming up for the new year? How do you want to establish even improving? I'd say doing this for 20 plus years now, I get better and better and better every year still, you know, and I'm not perfect, but I will say like I used to probably eat so much and feel so bad after a week. It took a week of recovery and I don't do that anymore. It's not worth it for me. I've reestablished a new plan for myself that feels better and I'll even grow here from now on. So um, that's what I love. We're always growing guys. So grow with us. All right, guys. Thanks for sending in your questions. Keep them coming. We will see you guys on the other side.